Right, welcome to lesson two on direct proportion. We're going to look at a different aspect of this now. Um, add a little layer of complication in there. Basically, sometimes you'll get two quantities which are proportional to one another. So there's a relationship of proportionality. But one of the quantities is not just there as itself. It's there as itself squared or cubed or square rooted, etc. Um, a very common example that you'll be familiar with is if we consider the area of a circle. Right, you all know that the area of a circle is given by a equals pi r squared. And this is an example of two quantities being directly proportional, but one is proportional to the square of the other. Okay, we say the area is proportional to the radius squared. And that's because it's in this form a equals k times r squared. And it happens that the constant of proportionality in this case, uh, k, is equal to pi. Okay, so um, let's just consider some examples of how to do this. So the value, uh, which we'll call v of a diamond, is proportional to the square of its weight. So not proportional to its weight, w, but to the square of its weight. And we're told that a diamond weighing 10 grams is worth 200 pounds. And we're asked to find, let's give ourselves some more space. Um, first of all, the value of a diamond weighing uh, 30 grams, and then the weight of a diamond uh, which is worth £5,000. Now the steps for this are just like they were for direct proportion. So first of all, write the relationship. In this case, V is proportional to the square of W. Okay. So the first part, V is proportional to, that's exactly the same. So V equals K. In this case, it's times W squared because it's proportional to the square of W. So that's my relationship. And remember, the next step is to substitute in the known values. This will let me work out what k is. In this case, the known values are that when uh, the weight w is 10, uh, the value v is 200. So I'll just simply substitute these into the equation, or into the formula that we just worked out. And I get 200 is equal to k times uh, w squared, which is 10, so 10 squared. And again, this is just a simple equation. I can solve this to find k. So 200 is 100k. Uh, divide both sides by 100, and we get k is equal to 2. So that's step 2 done. I know my constant of proportionality. Um, let's give ourselves some more space. Step 3, just like before, is to write the equation now. Okay, So we've got this fact that uh, v is k times w squared. And we now know that k is equal to 2. So if you combine those two facts, we can say that v is equal to uh, 2 times w squared, because k equals 2. This is a brilliant formula now, or an equation, that links v and w. So I can go on to step 4, which is basically to use this equation to answer the question. And it wants two things. First of all, it wants the value of the diamond that weighs 30 grams. So when w equals 30, what is v? Well. My equation tells me that v is equal to 2 times w squared. So in this case, 2 times 30 squared. And so that's 2 times 900, which comes to 1,800. And it's a value in pounds, so make sure you put the pound side. OK, so far so good. Part b, it wants the weight of a diamond, which is worth 5,000 pounds. So now we know v, we know the value. So when v is equal to 5,000, Again, I'm just going to put that into the formula we've got above. V equals 2w squared. So in this case, 5,000 is equal to 2w squared. And again, I'm going to solve this. The only difference is I'm going to have to do a square root at the end. So if I divide by 2, 2,500 is w squared. And as I said, we'll square root that to work out what w is. So the square root of 2,500 is simply 50. So if it's worth 5,000 pounds, it weighs 50 grams. Right, just one more example. Um, t is proportional to the square root of q. That's what we're given. And if t is 50 when q is 25, find the value of t when q is 100. OK, so we don't know what t and q represent in this question, but it doesn't matter. We know that there's a proportionality relationship, and t is proportional to the square root of q. So I can write t is equal to k times, well, the square root of q. There we go. Um, next step, substituting the known values, right? I know that when t is 50, q is 25, I can put those in. Substitute them directly in there. So replace t with a 50, and replace 
uh, q with 25, so k times root 25. All right, and root 25 is 5, so 50 equals 5k. I'll divide both sides by 5, and I'll get k is equal to 10. That's step 2 done. I know k. This is unlocking the question for me. I can write down the equation now. All right, I know that t is equal to k times the square root of q, and I now know, thankfully, that q, uh, sorry, k is equal to 10. So that means that t is equal to 10 times the square root of q. This is the key to answering the rest of the question now. I can use this in step four to answer it. So the value of t when q is 100. So let's just put q equals 100 into that formula. That will give me t directly. So when q equals 100, t will be 10 times the square root of 100, which is, of course, 10. So 10 times 10 is 100. And that is my value for t. OK, so just to finish by summing up, you've always got these four steps. Write down the relationship. Um, it'll have k in it. Then you put the values that you know in to work out what k is. Write down the equation and then use it to solve the question. That's all.